This challenge is called regular expressions number one. We have to complete a function in the editor and return a regex object. This is basically a regular expression object. So if you go to the Mozilla developer network, they have this page here where they give you the full documentation on that object. And this is part of the standard built-in objects in JavaScript. So you can go on that page and read all about it, how to create new objects, um, the flags that you can pass, what they mean, and so on. But the most important thing that you need to remember is that this object is used for matching text with a pattern. So this is very important. For example, you could use this object to match patterns for email addresses, phone numbers, special passcodes, and so on. In this challenge, we need to match the pattern that is defined for us right here. So in the task, they say it has to match any string and the string name is S, which begins and ends with the same vowel. So the instructions are repeated here. We need to declare an object. We need to call it RE for regular expressions. And then it needs to match a string that starts and ends with the same vowel. So this line right here, what you see is my solution. It's only a simple line. So I have this constant is going to be my RE object to store my regular expression objects. I'm using the new keyword, the regex constructor. And inside of the parentheses, I have two slashes, forward slashes. And this indicates the pattern that I want to match for my regular expression. So when you see this caret symbol, it indicates the beginning of the string that we want to evaluate. And this here indicates the end of that string. Now in here, I have a matching group. If you don't know yet what a matching group is, like I said, you can read more about it on here and on their related links in the sidebar. But this here says that I have a couple of options. The first character can be any of these characters here, these vowels. So this is going to be my first matching group at the start of my string. Then I have this dot symbol or a period, which means it's any character, meaning that after matching the first character, let's say we know that it's a vowel, then I can have any number of any character. So that's why I have this period, meaning any character, and this asterisk means any number of times between zero and unlimited times. And then in here, I have this backward slash and number one, meaning that I want to make sure that whatever I was able to match here in my first matching group is repeated after any number of characters here. And this dollar sign indicates the end of my string, like I said. So because this rule comes right before the dollar sign, it means that we are trying to match the last character. And we want to make sure that this last character matches this first matching group. So you can plug this on regex101.com, which is a platform that teaches you how to use regular expressions and also evaluate some patterns. So here I've pasted my, my pattern right here from here inside of this input field. And on the side here, on the right, they explain my expression. So here they repeat again that this caret asserts the position at the start of a line. This here, what you see in between parentheses is my first capturing group or matching group where we want to evaluate for the vowels inside of the string that I want to match. And then this here, the period matches any character. The asterisk matches the previous token, which is this period, any character. It matches it any number of times between zero and unlimited times. And then this backward slash and one matches the same text as most recently matched by the first capturing group, meaning by the first character here. We want to match it again at the end to make sure that the last character is the same as this one here. But the first one has to be a vowel from the list that we're given here. And the dollar sign is the end of the line. So let's run this code now. We have returned this. They're doing this for us already. And as you can see, we've passed all the four test cases. So let me submit this code now. And we've passed all the nine test cases. So that's it for regular expressions number one. Let's move to the next challenge now, but if you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.